Hi. Now in this part we've got to show that uh, f of x which equals x to the power 4 minus 4x minus 8 has a root in the interval minus 2 to minus 1. And note by the way how we do write intervals in square brackets. Okay. So how do we do this? Well basically it's just working on this principle that if we've got the graph of f of x I'm not going to attempt to sketch it but we've got the interval minus 2 to minus 1. Let's say that's minus 2, that's minus 1. And we've got the curve. Now, what does that curve look like? I mean, does it come down through here? This being the root where it crosses the x-axis. Or does it come up through the, the uh, uh, axis, something like this, okay? Like that. I don't know. If it was the red one, I'd find that if I was to work out f of minus 2, it would be a positive value, and f of minus 1, it would be a negative value. And if it was the green curve, do f of minus 2, find it would be negative, and f of minus 1, it would be positive. And this is called the change of sign method, because if it changes sign over this interval, then we know that it's crossed the x-axis in that interval. So, in order to do this then, what I'm going to do is first work out what f of minus 2 is. Okay, Just work out whether it's a positive or negative value. So, I substitute minus 2 into our f of x, and we've now got 4 times minus 2, minus that 8. And if you work that out, you're going to find that you get 16 plus 8 minus 8, which comes to... 16. So that's telling me that we've got a positive value up here. So it kind of looks like it might be this red graph, okay? But we can't be sure of that until we've worked out the value that we get for minus 1. Who knows? It could be another positive value. So we need to work out f of minus 1. And if we do exactly the same by substituting that into f of x, we're going to get this particular calculation. And if you work that one out, you're going to get 1 plus 4 minus 8. And what does that come to? Minus 3. Okay? So we've got a negative value. So it's clearly this red graph that we've got here. So the green one, well, we can forget about that. We can just take that out. It's clearly not going to be that particular uh, version. Alright? So we've got that. And we should say that, therefore, since there's been a change in sign, we'll just say since a change in sign, okay, it's obviously gone from plus to minus, um, there must be, there must be a root, okay, in the interval, and that interval sign we can say is minus 2, to minus 1. Writing it in square brackets in the interval, minus 2 to minus 1. Alright.